Hi Xbus fans, Samson here from Crown Xbus. Electric Brands have released a new video giving a comprehensive explanation of the vehicle type that the Xbus will be categorized as, which is an L7E V2 vehicle. And in this video, I'm going to break down the highlights of their video, translated from German into English. First of all, if you aren't aware, vehicles are classed under a wide range of categories. The category is determined by the weight and size of the vehicle. A vehicle category helps classify a land vehicle or trailer for regularity purposes. The X-Bus falls under the light vehicle class, which includes motorized vehicles that are lighter than standard automobiles as we normally know them. As with any vehicle, the categories provide advantages and disadvantages. The advantages of a light vehicle compared to standard vehicles are that they are, of course, lighter and smaller, which for an electric vehicle is always a good thing. They also use less material in production and produce less CO2 and consume less energy throughout their life cycle. When it comes to electric vehicles, the lighter the car, as mentioned, is indeed better. The heavier the car, the more energy it needs to move, which means it probably needs a larger battery. A larger battery tends to equal more range, but consequently larger battery packs are incredibly heavy and make the car more expensive. The goal of the X-Bus is to make an affordable and highly efficient vehicle, which is why electric brands believe the light vehicle segment is perfectly suited. They go more into detail on the effects of electric cars within the German automotive market in their video. So as previously mentioned, the X-Bus falls under the L category, which also has multiple subclasses, including two-wheeled, three-wheeled and four-wheeled motor vehicles. Looking at the class that the X-Bus falls under, which is the L7E class, it is classified as a heavy four-wheeled motor vehicle for carriages of passengers and goods, meaning it is the heaviest under the light vehicle segment. The regulations for this segment require that the weight it carries for passengers must be no more than 450 kilograms, with a maximum of three passengers, including two side-by-side -side and the driver. Up to 600 kilograms can be carried for goods. The weight criteria does not include the weight of the batteries. Another criteria is the normal continuous power must be up to 15 kilowatts. However, the peak power can be higher, as the X-Bus is currently quoted as 56 kilowatts. For comparison, Honda's full electric city car, the Honda E, has 113 kilowatts. And my kettle peaks at 3 kilowatts. Those are the main points electric brands touched on in their video but there are a fair few other conditions that this category does and does not require. A full breakdown of lightweight vehicle criteria can be found on our website, which also has some other handy links on it. Now, I hope this all makes it clearer for you. For more information on the X-Bus, follow us on our socials and visit crownxbus.co.uk. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.